Brothers, Brad Pryor, Barstool Entertainment, doing something a little different. The music is not the original music because all that is copyrighted and I can't use it. But this is the final mission for Red Dead Redemption 2. It is called Paying Respects. After you complete American Venom, the major story mission, uh, one more task comes up for you. And actually, I'm 98% complete at this. I still have the hunting request to finish out. But you get one more task, and that is Graves. And through bad decisions and bad luck, not everyone will survive this difficult journey. After they pass, pay your respects and find the graves of nine fallen companions. Yep. And you can guess what number nine is. I was kind of interested, and I definitely needed to do this to complete 100%. First two graves are way up north, and you have to fast travel to Coulter. And that is where the gang, uh, kind of the first chapter, stayed. And you're going to wander around a little bit. I mean, the map I was using is in a guide. I had bought and it's not real specific so yeah I wandered around and I finally found the first grave and it's of someone who is mentioned in fact the first two graves are of people who are just mentioned and talked about you never actually meet them and the first grave is Jenny Kirk I'm going to show you on the map here. It's way north above the uh, Spider Gorge in this area no one would go. And it's way north of Coulter. And yeah, you got to walk a long way. No one really goes into that area of the map. But that is where you find Jenny Kirk's grave. And I've already started with finding the first grave. Now, the second grave is not too far away, but again, it's someone who is just mentioned in the game and not really a major gang member. The next gang member is by the uh, grave in the Coulter uh, town itself, and it's pretty obvious by the abandoned church behind it. And the person is Davy Callender. Again, someone who's mentioned, not a major gang member. Um, if you look on the map here, he's within Coulter itself, just you know, to the left of the sea in Coulter. Now, the third gang member is actually someone you may recognize. And again, the progress. Two out of nine, and I'm already at 99%. So, and that's because I achieved the final, um, uh, a better world, a, a new friend. Anyway, the next gang member, they're further south, and there's someone you'll recognize. This next gang member, you will definitely recognize. And after you find his grave, which is kind of hidden, and it's near the second encampment, or should I say third encampment. It's Sean McGuire, or McGuinn. And yeah, Sean died in the game, and it's right here. Uh, it's kind of northwest of Rhodes, and it's kind of far north of the gang's second encampment. Chapter 3, Clemens Point. Yeah, that's Sean's grave. And again, now we're going to get into characters you're going to recognize and who you actually interacted with and will play with. And the next, again, right here, I'm showing you again, but yeah, I'm trying to find the next character. So let's move on to the next grave. This 
Grave is near Shady Bell, but you're not in any danger of being attacked by the Lemoyne Raiders who've taken Shady Bell back. And this guy is Kieran Duffy. And yeah, you remember him and how he died. Again, you interacted with him. And the grave is right here, again, outside Shady Bell, kind of above the uh, legendary um, panther near Bollinger Blade or Glade. And, yep, uh, four graves out of nine. This is getting close to 100%. So let's move on to the fifth grave. Actually, this is going to be the fifth and sixth grave. And they're two major characters you interact with and are familiar with. It's kind of sad to see them. And they are Hosea and Lenny. Two guys I really liked. And again, it's kind of sad to see them. Their graves are right here in just north of Saint Denis and the Bayou NWA. And if you can see it on the map, they're right here. And they're buried in the middle of the road area. And now we're going to get to another grave, which, yeah, I can tell you is a little more impactful. Six out of nine. Now we're going for number seven. This one was a little more difficult to locate. Uh, the guide is not real specific, but this one actually I kind of felt really bad because I actually kind of like this character after a while. And it is Susan Grimshaw. Yeah. Again, I really liked her. I grew to really like her. And again, the location of the grave is right here. It's on top of a hill, a rise, and it's above railroad tracks. It's just to the left of the E in, I believe, Ansburg. You know, it's near Elysium Pool or New, New Haven, but... Now we're getting down to the final two graves. The eighth grave was fairly easy to find, but it kind of puzzled me, yet that it made sense. Uh, this character was a major part of the story and someone who at least had an impact. And it's Eagle Flies. Again, it sort of made sense. Uh, it was very easy to find, and of course you can kind of understand why his grave was included. If you look on the map, it's by Donner Falls right here. Again, very quick and easy to find. And then, you know, you look back here, and it's near the Wapati Indian Reservation. And of course, the final grave... And the final person, you can kind of guess, and then I achieve 100%. And then there is Arthur Morgan's grave. You see the eagle fly off? Well, that means John has high honor, or at least good honor. And the grave is right here. It's a little deceptive near the mysterious hill home. And you got kind of off the beaten path. You got to kind of wander over some mountains. But, yeah, Arthur Morgan.
guess we're just about done, my friend. It's always sad to see Arthur die. If you want 100%, you kind of got to visit the graves. If you visit the grave without achieving 100%, you, you just see the grave. The little clip I just showed you of John saying his respects to Arthur, you only get that when you get that 100%. And I kind of expected something more, but then again, this is a fitting tribute. I mean, it's kind of a little emotional. I mean, it's a video game. And I still cared about these characters. And again, it's a fitting ending. Now, if you look on the map again, it's right here where I'm showing you. Uh, you can visit it even if you don't get 100%. At, you know, and you can visit it at any time in the epilogue. But to be honest with you, if you're trying for 100%, wait until the final end here. And the total completion, I visited all the graves, I'm done. And, well, if you don't want to do 100%, visit it anyway. Pay your respects to Arthur. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week plus some shorts and specials, and you don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.